it is a seriously hard life, ladies and gentlemen. Today, our tour is a Matt and Kath Malarkey's Mercedes Heimer S660. So, tell us a little bit about the Heimer. When did you purchase it? That's me then, right. Go for it. We got it almost three years ago. Uh, we previously had a, a 564, a Fiat 564. Yeah. Um, wasn't quite big enough for what we wanted because we want to go traveling long term in this. So, okay. hence we were looking for a bigger model and we found this one in a sorry state nearly three years ago and we've been doing it ever since. Why an old Heimer? We were looking for what we could afford at the time, and Matt had his heart set on a, a classic Heimer. So it was Matt's well, choice? Yeah. It's simply because I follow our tour. I don't know if you know them, the Buckleys. They, we do, yeah. They travelled around originally in a classic Heimer, and I was so impressed with it, especially with the videos that they shot and everything, that I wanted one. So we went to look at a few. Yeah, I'm no looking back, they're just amazing. Yeah, what's your favourite part of the bus? <laughs> The drinks cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and just the front area. Now we've got the L shape, um, being able to have people in comfortably, um, and yeah, have some drinks. Drinks is high on the agenda then. Yeah, absolutely. What creature comforts can't you live without that you bring to the van every time you go away somewhere, apart from alcohol? So, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you've lost us now. <laughs> well, we. We've got everything in the van. We have two sets of things, and almost everything is in the van, so we don't need to bring anything else. So you guys are part of the admin team on the Classic Homers Facebook group. Just tell anybody watching this video what the group's done to enhance your homering experience. It's helped us meet so many um, like-minded people. There's so many people who are like us, who can just afford this type of vehicle, like to get out and see the world, um, and, and just see places and meet people. It's not what I expected, people with motorhomes, and I love this group, and I love people we've met. It's uh, changed our lives. Yes, yeah. Okay then, Matt, we'll take us through the back of the van. Okay, well this is the rear U-shaped lounge, as you can see, which is the difference between my van and your van. Yep. Um, we've got this bench at the back, Two side seats, under all of this is either storage or equipment. Okay. So under here, if you have a look under here, I've got water pump, tank, and my boiler. Under here, because I've got a, we've had a box fitted on the back, so it makes uh, boot access quite restricted from, from outside. So to remedy that, from inside, I have access, and this boot is massive. Yeah, they it are. It goes down a good two foot, I would say. I've got a water tank under there, an extra water tank. What's the capacity of the water tank? That's a, a fireman, and it's got a 70 litre capacity. And there's just storage under there, storage around the top. Right, the bathroom. As I said before, my uh, splashback was all cracked and knackered, so I have replaced it with a nice little oak surface oh, and inset, awesome. inset the bowl which I got from uh, a well-known glass fibre manufacturer. Looks brilliant, looks really good. Yeah. It's a wet room, we've got the uh, shower curtain which goes all the way around so it protects the oak surface. Okay, and you've also changed the roof light in here and as we've well. changed the roof light in there, yeah, to a mini hecky. Bit of cupboard space here, pots and pans, Tea towels, towels, all that sort of thing down here. Bits and bobs. Hanging wardrobe. Bits and bobs. Lots of bits and bobs in here. Brilliant. That's, that's our overflow booze cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> down here we have another booze cabinet. Usual sink, hob, TV cabinet. Okay. Which is obviously a drinks cabinet. One thing I've noticed as we're sort of going into the, the front of the van, this isn't the original coverings on the seat cushions. Who did all this? That's right. No, I've done this. And this is the second um, Heimer that I've done. I've done three uh, sets of captain's chairs all together. 
Um, and there's a document actually on, on the file section if anyone wants to have a go of doing it themselves. I've written out exactly how I've done it all, so if anyone else wants to have a go, it's not as frightening as it might look. Um, it's just like a bit of a jigsaw really. And I chose the fabric because it's like an old bus, which is what this is really for us. Um, and I really love it. I made these additional bits as well, similar to what you've got in your van, John. Oh, can you pull that out for me? <laughs> just, if you want a bit more uh, surface area for your backsides, when you've got people stopping, it just makes it a bit more, more spacious. There's another one on that end as well. I mean, there are just the two of us, so we don't really need the six berth. Um, we've still got four because uh, the end can be made up into a very large double bed. Yep. And we've got the drop down too. This table, which was originally in the back, um, that would go into the back area and that's what it's an interesting Makes point that you make there. I mean, obviously you've got you've got the rear bed arrangement there, and obviously you've got the one up the front. I mean, do you prefer it in the front or in the back? <laughs> Definitely in the front. <laughs> so one thing that you mentioned earlier on was that you've you've upgraded the fridge. Is that That's right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, the last one worked, and we did sell it on. It didn't work on two four. It worked on gas. It worked on twelve volt. Yeah. Didn't quite keep the temperature that we wanted. Okay. So we, we bit the bullet, they are expensive, we've got another three-way fridge and it does the same, gas, 12 volt and 240, but what it has got that's different is a blue light. Oh yes. <laughs> and we've got some booze in there. Ginsters or Ginsters pasties, yeah. depending on what part booze of the country you're from, you just you can't, go, can't go wrong with it. Now that's great, looks, looks really good. And it's, is it... We've got a very small ice box, okay. which, which is a bit of a drawback, but I do have now a lot more fridge space that that is a bigger fridge than the stand the one on a standard yeah bus of this age i well. can fit more beer in there excellent also got the uh, the standard smev three ring hob we adjusted the original spice rack because all we had was one shelf about there okay so i made another shelf you can see it's slightly different yep there wasn't even this restraining bar at the bottom so i added that in and then we can use the whole space but the usual the usual control panel up here. Right, this is the L-shaped that we've put in. Originally it was a dinette, so two seats, two bench seats that way. Yep. I took one off this side, I made it a tiny bit shorter. Yep. And I put it against the wall. Um, again, uh, like the other side, we've got this extension on so we can fit another person in. Yep. And it's also given me a chance to put in inside here. I've got the amp, I've got a subwoofer, I've managed to put an extra plug socket in, 12 volt supply, cool, which is switched on there, so it's not not annoyingly with a blue light all night. Awesome. I'll just demonstrate the drop down bed. It's really simple. Two front seats, just put them down. And it's simply seatbelt type arrangement and it drops down. And how tall are you, Matt? I am six foot two, and I can sleep in this perfectly comfortably. And I think you said to me before, with preference over the two, you'd rather sleep in the in the drop down. Would that be fair? Yeah. Okay, Matt, Kath, a little tour of the outside of the van would be fantastic, so lead the way. We've got this beautiful Piyama bin. Okay. Good thing about these, if you haven't got one, when you're parked, it's here. When it's too cold, when you're driving? driving about, you can stick it on there. No way. Way. <gasps> fantastic. God. That is cool. And Isn't presumably, good? obviously, you just how do these actually fix onto the side there? Those are glued and screwed on. Excellent. With a nice bit of sticker flex. No chance of that bad boy falling off then? Absolutely none, no. Okay, cool. Right, under here. Got an unslung gas tank. It's taken away my two gas load tanks that I had before. I've got a lot more capacity. And now, surprisingly, I've got room for more booze. <laughs> what, what an absolute shocker. Yeah. Uh, outside it's pretty standard really, as, as we're going along. Uh, this is our access to the boot, isn't it? Which we can now only access from either here 
or from under the seat inside as Matt demonstrated before okay. because with the back box on it, this is the best way in yeah no the big reveal the back box the big reveal ladies and gentlemen we have <gasps> The galvanised back box. Isn't it lovely? And um, what was your reason for, for putting that on, Matt? Well, because we go to full time in this van, we needed room inside for our clothes, etc. Okay. But the boot was full of... Booze, I think. No, 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 no. <laughs> Chairs, tables, Hoses, electric, ladders, outside cooker, awesome. etc. Loads of space so in I there, had, that's great. I had this made to fit it drops all the way down there so i can actually reach inside okay but uh, i'm going to put a couple of carabiners on that so it'll sit like that and then we can cook on there because the, the pipe on my cooker will reach all the way around to the outside gas point ah excellent a great idea and this was made this size so a the lights would show and b i could put my ex my shortened ladder onto there to access the roof so you've still got full access yeah no, that's yeah. great Top, but a big top box, another storage unit on the top there. Yeah, yeah. That's got a canoe in that very rarely comes out. Okay. Because I can't canoe. <laughs> She's well known for not right. canoeing. I'll put that back in. There. And then around the other side. Is this a standard bumper that you've got on here, or is that how does that work? Basically, this is a motorbike rack, a scooter rack. So okay. It does slide in and out when this is on. Okay. Um, and these are the sliders here. Yep. But you can put a scooter of up to 130 kilograms, I think it is, on the back of here. Okay. Something around there. Um, don't quote me. Okay. Um, but obviously I put this on instead. And that and all its contents don't weigh 130 kilograms. So okay. I'm fine with that. Excellent. That is the inlet for the new water tank, which sits behind here. That's a 70 litre one you were that's talking about. That's a 70 litre one. Yep. And this is the inlet for the 90 slash 100 litre one that's in there. That is the uh, boiler exhaust. Oh. I need that off when it's gas and sure. as it's running on electric, I'll keep that closed so no birdies or mice can get in there and nest in there. That's the toilet and on, on the toilet we've fitted a SOG, which is a, a system that runs air across the top of your toilet cassette, yep. which means you don't need to use chemicals because it gets rid of all the badness and breaks down what's inside the cassette. That's a really great idea. That's, they're quite common, aren't they? You've they seen are quite a few common, of those. Yeah, yeah. And who empties the cassette most of the time, Kath? Not me. That's, uh, I did it, I've done it once. once. I've well, done it once. Well when? done, that's, that's great, You're really good. Up here we've got an outside shower point, so we can open that when I fit a new lock. That's on the list of things to do. A, an outside shower point, you say? So, and why, why would you need that, Matt? To brush the sand off when I'm on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The rest of it is all standard. I don't have a driver's door. Some people see that as a, as a problem. We haven't seen it as a problem at all. Okay, and the final thing we want to have a look at is your amazing Hymer grill. So tell us a little bit about this. Oh, well, this is something we got done um, after seeing someone else's, the Atkinson's from up north. Yeah. And what it is, it's, it's a normal grill, and they take it off and they strip it down repaint it all in its original Mercedes smoke silver colour and then it's hydro dipped a bit like an air the old air fix transfers and they dip it into this pool with this pattern in it and this is a, a Mexican day of the dead pattern a what sorry Mexican day of the dead oh, wow and from a distance you can't really see the pattern um, but as you get closer it just looks really flingy but as you get closer you can pick out all the detail we love it Okay, welcome to a very, very cold market, Drayton. Okay, <laughs> very cold market, Drayton. Drayton, today we're going to be having a look at Matt and Kath Malarkey's S660. Cold market, Drayton. Today we're going to be having a look. Having a few. We're going to be having a look at Matt and Kath's Malarkey. It is a seriously hard life, ladies and gentlemen. Today. Our tour is a Matt and Kath Malarkey's Mercedes Heimer S660. Bacon nice and uh, crispy for me, please, Kath. And how do you like your eggs? Lovely paps. And finally, tell us a joke. 
My favourite joke from when I was a child. Why did the koala bear fall out of the tree? I don't know, Kath. Why did the koala bear fall out of the tree? Because it was dead. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs>